Take a break and join us. Gold Town, the Pahrump Nugget and Lakeside Casinos. I definitely am seeing a rise in um, anxiety and stress, you know, and, and a lot of the things that I'm finding out is that rise in anxiety and stress um, has to do with a rise of feelings of being out of control. You know, there are so many unknown factors going on right now, you know, so um, I think it's important for parents to kind of hone in on that list with their kids and, and that helps for them as well. You know, writing down a list of the things that you're stressed about, no matter how big or small it may seem, and then taking that list and dividing it into two separate lists of what you have control over and what you don't have control over, you know, and what we're seeing right now is that there's definitely a rise in the list of what you don't have control over. But, you know, um, separating those out makes it easy for you to be able to hone in on things that you do have control over. And there really is a lot of things that you have control over. You know, one of the biggest things is the fact that we're all spending more time at home. Well, what are you doing at home? Are you staying in your pajamas all day because that's what you want to do? And then maybe it becomes a pattern and that pattern kind of takes you out of your normal behavior well set an alarm get up at a regular time you know do your hair do your makeup take a shower you know choose an outfit for the day you know those are all typical things that people would go through on a normal day-to-day and even though this isn't a normal day-to-day we do have control of putting some of those normal things back into our daily routines and that helps a lot it does get more difficult um, with the younger kids because it is harder for them to not only balance their emotions inside but to be able to communicate them effectively Um, And then, you know, the dynamics in the family all takes a a part in it as well. You know, um, we've got parents that are first time, you know, teachers um, doing the homeschooling, which adds another stressful component with the kids. You know, they're not being able to see their peers and reach out to their their teachers um, on a normal basis, but encouraging them, you know, to to reach out. You know, they can call their teachers. They can email their teachers, you know, um, staying in contact through social media, through the phones, things like that can help lessen the stress and the anxiety of what they're missing out on and that's that's true you know for for any age that connectedness is what's important not necessarily the face-to-face but staying connected and and feeling that connection as parents we want our kids to know that everything is going to be okay you know so starting with the parents and, and figuring out what their stressors are and what they have control over and what they don't have control over and then following through with the kids but absolutely allowing them an opportunity in a safe place to express how they're feeling you know it doesn't necessarily have to be something that the parents agree with them on. They may have completely different viewpoints on the situation, but they're still very legitimate feelings and and legitimate thoughts that need to be out there. And that in itself helps to um, continue to produce that open communication between parent and child. If you feel that the stressors and anxiety are getting to a point that they are a disruption to normal functioning, that's when you want to reach out to get that appropriate professional um, help.